back to my channel as you see it. And today we are going to understand the concept of consumer, right? So this is going to be a theoretical uh, lecture along with some of the very important uh, basic life examples. With the help of which you will be able to understand the entire concept of consumer without without going or without needing to search for a number of tutorials online, offline, anywhere else, right? So I'll make sure you are able to understand. But before that, the theory is very important, guys. Most people, most of the coders, I have seen that you know they pay a very special emphasis on writing the coding part they their thinking is built into that particular fashion that you know my logic is very good so i'll be able to write code of any type but those uh, people i would like to just say that you know uh, you, it's good to have a very good logical brain but good understanding of the theoretical part will make you feel even more confident and at the time of doing a uh, code review whether it be a developer code review whether it be an automation code review uh, if you have a very good uh, base uh, good base in terms of understanding of theoretical part uh, i bet uh, this is for the leads level i am saying that you would be able to find issues in the work of people who are much more senior than you let's say you are having 7 years of experience or 5 years of experience and you have a very good uh, you know uh, theoretical knowledge you would be able to find code review defects uh, to people who are having 10 to 12 years of experience or even 15 I've seen. So theory plays a very important part, especially in technical languages. Please do not try to become a hacker or a coder in a one single day. You can become a very good programmer, but you won't be becoming a very good hacker or a coder in one day, right? It will take time. It takes years of practice. Again, I'm saying and it takes a lot of effort. Sometimes, sometimes it takes a lot of effort, but these concepts are very easy to understand Java 8. So let's get back to our lecture. So what is a consumer? So consumer is nothing. Consumer is a functional interface and we all know that functional interfaces are very easy to understand and remember functional interface. Whenever it comes onto a screen or somebody asks you in an interview, a picture should be clear functional interface means single abstract method would be there inside that particular interface so this is an interface and the name of the interface is consumer since it is a functional interface the very good thing is that there would be only one single abstract method right they cannot be double abstract method or triple abstract methods only one single abstract method would be there and if this method is present over here it would be having some of its beauty like in case of supplier there were no input arguments, but still the supplier was providing something without taking anything. It was keep on supplying, right? But in case of consumer, it's totally different. It will definitely take something from you. It will perform the basic operation and it is not going to return you anything. Again, I'm reiterating this line very important. It is definitely going to take mandatorily. It will take one input argument from you. It will perform some basic operations based on the logic that you have written but it will not return anything to the end user right there is no return type defined in consumer by the name you can understand consumer means you are going to consume something once you eat something you do not again return anything to that person you know by taking the food again back from your stomach can it happen no it never happens right so in the same particular way consumers simply consume something perform some basic operation and they do not return anything right so let's get back the theory, theoretical part gets back to that it is a fi that is functional interface that contains single abstract method and the name is somebody asks is the accept method what is the beauty of this accept method it will take one input argument mandatorily and it will perform some basic operation and it is not going to return anything and this is all about consumer i really get this is all about consumer right and now a question would be arising on to your mind if it is not going to return me anything it is i have to provide an input it will do something then what is the use of consumer it's a normal human uh, technical question right that come onto your mind i am giving an input value to that particular method it is doing something and it is not returning anything then why to waste some time and then why java 8 has uh, you know brought up these kind of concepts what is the use of that and why we are going to then use them so the answer to all this question is that you know uh, once you start working and using these particular concepts there would be some times when you are coding or when you become a little bit uh, habitual coder 
or a programmer or once you become a little bit you know you get stabilized working in an automation framework on an automation environment let's say you are making use of java or selenium there would be times that you know you would be creating a functions that would be taking an input value from you that is from a user they would be taking an input argument and they would be simply printing something for example if i ask you to print the table of 7 if i ask you to print the table of 7 so or you have the capability to give me the table of anything what i have to tell you i will simply tell you the print me the value for or print me the table of 7 or 10 right you will take this 10 and you will just print 10 cross 1 equals 10 10 cross 2 equals 20 this kind of stuff right so you are not returning me anything you are simply displaying something by taking an input from the user or from me right so in simple terms just for display purposes i have written over here i will be giving you a very very detailed uh, automation level that is industry level my current industry working examples where i have seen people using consumers that too at a very great detail and in a very depth manner so we will be covering all those things at the end of this java 8 series i'll be covering supplier consumer predicate and what not to cover right many of the things will be getting covered but at this point of time just let's make things very very simple so again i am reiterating what is a consumer it is a functional interface contains only one single abstract method that is accept the beauty of accept method it will take one input from the user but will not return anything and will some and will do some basic operations right and why we use because there are some cases where we do not want anything return right like example i gave you that print a table using an integer right so it will take an value from the user it will print the table and you know uh, it's not going to return anything why because i am not required to make use of that particular table anywhere in my code or anywhere in my automation framework is just used for display purpose where exact use is required i will give you the industry level uh, example over here but first try to understand what was the consumer still if you are not able to understand let's quickly jump on to this particular diagram so in my previous example i have discussed it let's discuss this example over here now so father let's say there are three kids alex jennifer and john right they have their father over here so what the father is doing father is supplying money supplying food father is supplying clothing shelter father is taking care of your cars father is taking care of your school buses father is taking care of your medicines daily health activity checkups everything your father is taking care of but in return he is not expecting anything from you right let's say your age is less than 15 years of age or 10 years of age your father is doing all the things for for you but your father is not accepting or expecting anything from you that you know if i give you money if i give you food then after eating food you should come and you know uh, just give me a head massage no uh you know selflessly your father is keep on supplying things to you and these are the values that your father is supplying so your father acts like a supplier in this particular example and the alex john and jennifer are acting as a consumer why because mandatorily they require food they are they we are human beings we require food so mandatorily they are taking some input value from you at least one you know and with the help of that food they are eating it they are performing some basic operations they are get energized they play they sing they dance right but they are not returning anything they are not returning any dance to you they are not playing or returning anything right so the kids in this case are a clear cut example of of you can say consumers and father is a clear cut example of a supplier i hope in the normal life if you are able to correlate right again without wasting time let's try to understand it with the help of some conceptual data over here right i'll just create a particular program and this is the example that i'm going to take so that it gets embedded onto your mind a girlfriend example right why i have taken this example because uh, i last time i took an example of a very technical like uh, printing some data from reservation ticket uh, enter the name and print the reservation ticket uh, id some kind of details of the passenger right but uh, 
people you know simply got forgot uh, the logic and they also forgot the concept of consumer so i have taken this example because you guys mostly tend to remember these kind of stuff right so let's say consumer let's create a consumer consumer of uh, let's say type integer it's known to accept integer <clears throat> let's give it a meaningful name to the consumer so the name of the consumer is let's say girlfriend girlfriend right so this is the name of a consumer right and now we are going to implement it so what is the beauty of consumer consumers always take some thing in the form of an input parameter let's say um, your girlfriend takes money in the form of an input parameter from you right okay and with the help of that money she performs some basic operation what are the basic operations let's say she said that did shopping for did shopping for eye glasses jeans t-shirts right and with the help of your money she again did something did shopping for let's say platinum rings diamond rings let's say for example right so with the help of this example it will surely get embedded onto your mind i'm 100 percent sure right and how to use it consumer dot accept like supplier dot get we were using in previous example over here you might have seen supplier dot get and how to use it is like name of that interface dot get right this was a meaningful name so girlfriend dot accept and how much money have you given to your girlfriend let's say you have given thirty thousand dollars in terms in dollars you have given money right so guys do you think that if you give money to your girlfriend depending upon the type of you have made your friend do you have that level of authenticity or you know authority that you can ask that return me the amount of money remaining or 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 can you just give me the entire breakup of where you spend what you spend how much you spend how many days um, you spent on platinum rings how much money your diamond rings jeans t-shirt blah 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 right can you do that no you cannot do that and i hope you guys do not have that level of power in yourself right even just joking over here so at this point of time this entity is acting like a consumer this entity is taking or accepting input value input value i have written over here it takes one input argument right so the input argument that you have given is thirty thousand dollars okay and with the help of this money your consumer took this or accepted this, this in the form of input parameter performed some basic operations and then did not return you anything she took this money performed some operations did shopping for these number of things and that with the help of remaining amount she has not returned you so in this case this example simply becomes like a typical uh, uh, i know i know this is a very weird example this is an incorrect example but you know some guys were saying that please give me that example which i can remember so i took this kind of example from some movies i have taken it uh, please do not feel you know at any point of time please do not take it in any other way right so this entity is acting like a consumer for you taking something in the form of an integer let's say and then doing the basic operation and not returning anything right so if you want these kinds of things in your life let's say you are a billionaire trillionaire then you know this entity all these kinds of entities can be termed as a consumer right so this is the example where I have given an example. Alex, John, and Jennifer were acting like a consumer. They were taking one input value mandatorily with the help of food and clothing. Let's say food. They were eating the food. They were getting energized and they were performing basic operations like playing, partying, dancing, right, swimming, anything else, right? And they were not returning anything to the father, right? So I hope I have made some sense with the help of this with these very illogical kind of examples. But these illogical examples will get stuck onto your mind right so i hope i've taken a lot of time for this very very simple example guys thank you i'm signing off for the day please stay tuned i am going to cover 
quickly uh, these two examples right now. Okay, so thank you for your time and thank you for your patience. Thank you. Thanks a lot.